as can be, but let's, let's hear from your lips. On pro-life, let's start with Richard. Exceptions to abortion, what are they for you? And would you support funding for abortion here or abroad? Exceptions on abortion, and would you support funding for abortion here or abroad? No, we, we, we've become a culture of death. I'm going to go on my rant here. We are now a culture of death. There's not a free man or woman sitting in this room today. With the passage of this health care legislation, we can talk about how much it costs. We can talk about uh, pay, doctors pay, pay for illegals, care for illegals. But it now has taken away the relationship between ourselves and our family physician. A bureaucratic board will now determine who among us will live, who among us will die. What our economic value is to society, period. That's who we are. My whole adult life, I've been hearing about all this pro-life. I am pro-life, and I'll get to exactly what my point of it is. But here's the point, folks. My whole life, we've been talking about this pro-life issue. I was born out of wedlock. My mother made a very poor first choice. She made a very wonderful second choice to keep me. All right? I've met, I've, one of the things I'm most disappointed about is running for the United States Senate. I've met many people here, and I've met many of these leaders that are pro-life leaders here within our state. And I'm convinced, as sure as I'm standing here, they're more concerned with their egos and with their jobs and saving lives. Today, we kill more unborn children than we ever have. In fact, we're not only going to kill unborn children, we're going to kill those who are older than we are, we're going to kill those who are sicker than we are, and we are going to kill those who are less able than we are. That's what has been happening with all this talk, 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 talk. I am pro-life. I believe life begins at conception and ends when our good Lord calls us home, and that all life has dignity, no matter what the age, what its disability or ability, or sickness, period. And we must stand up as a people for that. So I'm not pro-abortion. I'm not abortion for any reason except for the direct care of the mother, such as a, a tubular. The baby's going to die anyway, so you can take the mother down. No. Then I, then I, I believe that can be aborted. But I will not support, and I will fight vigorously. The time for talk is over. America is now a culture of death, period. And I will fight on that issue vigorously. Uh, uh, pro-life. Uh, death penalty? Yes or no? Death penalty, yes. That's biblical. Okay. Stan. All four of us here at five. I don't want to leave uh, Don Bates out. It would not be fair to do that. All five of us uh, have been endorsed by Right to Life. We are Right to Life. We are pro-life. Uh, I've enjoyed consistent, strong support uh, throughout my life from those organizations uh, because it, it comes from my heart and it comes from my personal Christian beliefs that life begins at conception. And God is the arbiter of life, not man, not Congress or the Supreme Court. Um, uh, I can't... Or the President. <laughs> um, you know, one of us is going to be facing a Democrat congressman from the 8th District. Is, is, uh, we've been taped at all of our events and every word we've said is recorded and sent back to him. I told the young man earlier, I said, you listen to us enough, we're gonna, you're going to be converted to our side. <laughs> but I think what we're saying makes a lot of sense and I think it's what who's your support and belief. Um, uh, Congressman Ellsworth, that's just a message back to you. Any one of us is going to give you a run for your life. <laughs> You don't edit that out. Now I want him to see that. All right. Okay. Uh, you asked also about the death penalty. I guess you're going to ask me about that. I think. Go ahead. Yeah, well, I assumed you were going to ask me, but I want to answer it. Yes, I do support that. I think it's in the cases uh, uh, where we now have DNA evidence to avoid the kind of mistakes uh, where you later find out that someone actually was not the perpetrator. Uh, and so that takes that issue off the table. That was the issue that people that opposed the death penalty would say, well, you know, what, what, about, the, you know, what about the people that's proven later that they really didn't do it? Uh, that's a tragedy of, of injustice uh, and misjustice. But now with DNA uh, ability to, to absolutely ascertain that proof, uh, we don't have that excuse anymore. They don't have that excuse anymore. And so I do support that also. Do you support uh, funding abroad or here uh, for abortion? No, I do not. And uh, one charge has been raised 
uh, here about uh, a bill 15 years ago that had uh, support for foreign operations. Uh, that bill in three specific instances said none of these funds may be used for abroad, that are given abroad in foreign aid may be used for uh, in any means uh, abortion practices. Um, uh, I would not support something that, that said to the contrary. Any exceptions to abortion? Uh, yes, I uh, have supported the pro-life position that gives exception to life of the mother and to rape and incest, uh, incest uh, uh, in circumstances where that can be definitely proved. Fortunately, we have the technology again today to uh, uh, better address that question than we did before. <coughs> Well, I am in favor of the death penalty. The, uh, uh, the Fifth Amendment says very clear, clearly that no person shall be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. And so from the very founding of our country, there has been the understanding that, uh, that, uh, that life may be taken as the result of, of uh, the taking of another life. Uh, if uh, man shall spill man's blood, then by man's hand shall man's blood be spilled. And so that has been the case uh, throughout the history of the United States and, and U.S. law. Um, and I, 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 I agree with that. I believe that life begins at fertilization, uh, and I believe that it is the core, the core function of government to secure the blessings uh, of life, including life itself. And so that is why I uh, supported the Right to Life Act, uh, often in the House of Representatives, that utilizes the 14th Amendment, Section 5, to grant civil rights to the pre-born. Uh, just as we have granted civil rights since the ratification of the 14th Amendment to various groups, uh, I believe we should ultimately grant uh, and recognize the civil right to life for the pre-born. And we can do that short of a constitutional amendment. Uh, the courts have often uh, asked and, and requested that, that the legislature determine where life begins. And, and we can do that, and the Right to Life Act would do that with 218 votes in the House, 51 votes in the Senate, and a president's signature. And I think that I did not answer uh, exceptions. exceptions. Uh, I believe that life begins at fertilization, and therefore government should protect life, and there can't be any exceptions to the protection of human life, and so I do not allow for any Thank you. for abortion. Carla. Right. 